carpal, metacarpal, and phalangeal bones. Carpal bones. There are eight carpal bones. All of these are short bones and are arranged in two rows of four bones each. From lateral to medial, the proximal row consists of scaphoid. It is boat-shaped, lunate, semilunar in shape, triquitral, wedge-shaped, and pisiform, which is the smallest of the bones and is P-shaped. The distal row consists of trapezium, trapezoid, which is boat-shaped, capitate, which is the largest of the carpal bones, and hamate, wedge-shaped with a hook. The proximal row of bones present a proximal convexity for the articulation with the lower end of the radius. Distally, they articulate with the distal row of the carpal bones except the pisiform which lies on the triquitral. The distal row of bones articulate with the metacarpal bones. Ossification All of the bones are cartilaginous at birth. Each bone undergoes ossification by one center. Center for capitate appears in the second month. Center for hamate appears in the third month. Center for triquitral in the third year. And the center for lunate in the fourth year. The center for scaphoid, trapezium, and trapezoid appear in the fifth year. Center for pisiform appears between 8 to 12 years. Ossification is completed between 20 to 25 years. Clinical application Scaphoid fracture It is the most common fracture among the carpal bones. It is usually caused by a fall on an outstretched hand and generally presents with pain in the anatomical snuff box. Sometimes, blood supply to the scaphoid is derived only from the arteries entering the bone from its distal end so a fracture of the mid part of the scaphoid might result in deprivation of blood supply to the proximal portion of the bone, which may lead to avascular necrosis of that part. Metacarpal bones. There are five metacarpal bones. They are numbered from the lateral to the medial side and are all short bones. Parts of the metacarpal bones are head. It is rounded and lies distally. It articulates with the proximal phalanx, it is larger when compared to the base, and it forms the prominence of the knuckles. Base. It lies proximally and articulates with the distal row of carpal bones, shaft. It is the part between the base and the head. The shaft increases in thickness from above downwards. Ossification. Each metacarpal bone ossifies by two centers one primary for the shaft and one secondary for the head. Primary center appears in the ninth week of intrauterine life. Secondary centers for the second, third, fourth, and fifth metacarpals appear in the second year and fuse by 16 years. Secondary center for the first metacarpal appears in the second year and fuses by 18 years. Clinical application. Bennett's fracture. It is an oblique intraarticular fracture of the base of the first metacarpal bone and may be associated with a dislocation or subluxation of the bone. Boxer's fracture. It is a fracture of the neck of the metacarpal bone, most commonly involving the fifth metacarpal. Phalanges. These are the most distal short bones of the upper limb. There are 14 phalanges, two for the thumb, and three for the four fingers. The arrangement of the phalanges is as follows. The proximal row consists of the proximal phalanx. Middle row consists of the intermediate, also known as the middle phalanx, and the distal row, the distal phalanx. Phalanges have the following parts. The base lies proximally, shaft lies in the middle, and the head lies distally. Ossification. Each phalanx ossifies by one primary center for the shaft and one secondary center for the base. Appearance of primary centers. Proximal phalanx by 10th week of intrauterine life, middle phalanx by 12th week of intrauterine life, and distal phalanx by the 8th week of intrauterine life. Appearance of secondary centers. 
the secondary centers by two years. Fusion of the diaphyses with epiphyses occurs by 16 to 18 years.